Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a long overdue makeup declutter. These are all the products that expired throughout 2023. If I simply declutter something, oftentimes it's just going to a friend or a family member. Anything that expired throughout the year, I set aside in a bin and the intention was to share it with you during a vlogmas and to share what has been decluttered or expired throughout the year before going into my makeup inventory. I do still plan on doing a makeup inventory video with my numbers as of January 1st. They've all been written down. Most of the pictures have been taken. I am just extremely behind on videos. So I'll be sharing with you a ton of makeup that most of it just went bad, which is really disappointing. And a big reason why I project pan in the first place is to get good usage on my makeup collection which is on the larger side to avoid things going bad especially when they are barely used. So this will be yet another video where it is going to be overhead style. I just feel like that is the best way to share some of these products with you. I also encourage you to kind of like rummage through your own makeup collection especially when it comes to lip products I find they will turn bad really suddenly like some of these products I had been using maybe two three months before and they are perfectly fine and the next time I reached for them they smelled absolutely terrible and I am not putting that on my lips so this video is kind of a disappointing one it's always sad to have makeup expire and it needs to be thrown away but um, all of these products helped reduce my makeup inventory without makeup usage and that's why I wanted to share it with you <laughs> The last time I did one of these videos, I was sick with the big C, so the title of the video, I can link it up if you want to watch me really struggling, was these makeup products have expired and so have I or something like that. I was sick as a dog, but I just remember filming that video and feeling like it was really funny. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. I need to stop rambling. My goodness. I hope you guys will enjoy my makeup declutter. All right, you guys, I saved all of the makeup that expired in my collection in 2023, and I have this declutter bin to share with you. There are some things that maybe aren't technically expired, but they are just old, and I really just don't want to use them, but most of these are like full on have gone bad, and I've just been hoarding them to share this declutter before I do my makeup inventory so that you can see where some of the missing products you will be maybe noticing in my pictures, where they've gone. All these will be throwing out. None of it is good to pass along to others. So I'm just gonna go through this um, pretty quickly. Let's knock these two big ones out first. These are two face masks that were in my collection that I did not use fast enough. This Alia skin I've had for a couple years. It was sent to me in PR, it's completely dried out. And same with this Milk Makeup Cannabis Hydrating Stick. It is completely dried out in here. Um, I did use both of these quite a bit, but definitely they probably weren't even half gone each. So this is disappointing. I do like to share these things instead of just finding like I like to keep them together as a visual of this is how much makeup went bad in my collection in the run of a year. I have a very large collection. I cannot finish it all fast enough. So this helps keep me in check with my makeup spending as well, having this visual of items that went bad. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I think it's so easy to just find one lipstick that's gone bad, throw it out and forget about it. Um, but because I've set them aside, I can now see there are many, many lipsticks that went bad throughout the year. And some guilt does some good for my makeup rehab series, let me tell you. I have both of these Milk Makeup Stick products. I received these many years ago around the same time. The with the packaging of the bronzer broke so I had depotted it into here this is not airtight so that was definitely not a good um, compact choice for me and pretty soon after you can see now it's quite dried out but pretty soon after it smelled really badly of like crayons you know and that's what this milk makeup blush stick in the shade work smells like um, it just smells really 
like nasty old play-doh and i'm not putting those on my cheeks i just found this in the very back of a drawer this is the la girl pro coverage white foundation i used this as a mixer years and years ago it's never been included in my proper makeup inventory but can you see how nasty and separated it is in here um, i didn't smell it or anything i just know that this needs to go I have three super shock shadows here that are totally dried up hard and crusty and I know you can revive these but I have so many it's just not worth it to me. Um, I would just rather let them go. They are not my favorites. I did like uh, Weenie here more than the other two. I liked it enough to hit pan on it but now like no pigment comes off. It is very hard. And super shocks just aren't fun once they lose that like putty texture that they're known for. This is the shade Midnight, also a collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and it's a black with an obscene amount of like goldish shimmer. And it was just never my favorite, and now it's officially dried out. So, and this is the shade Party of Five. I tried to hit pan in this for quite some time and was not successful. I have found that I don't love the ultra glitter formula of Super Shock shadows. There's just something about them that they're just not my favorite and this one is expired now. I have a couple single eyeshadows here and I discovered that these had expired in my No Pan Left Behind series. So that is really good to know making sure I use every single eyeshadow in a select palette, I was able to determine this was a random Luxie shadow, but there is like no pigment to this at all anymore. So that needs to be thrown out. And then these two came from my ColourPop Semi Precious palette, which is my level two palette in Project Level Up. And they just don't have good pigment anymore. They really muddied up my eye looks. Like, can you see how lackluster those are? And especially this one, that is not how they used to be. It's not how the other shades in the palettes performed. So I'm not wasting my time with having really bad makeup looks. And I'm going to declutter these three eyeshadows. So if you see my singles selection decrease in my makeup inventory, it's because they expired. I will keep the Z palette though. I have this nail polish from Rimmel in the shade Misty. This used to be one of my favorites, um, but it I know once again I could buy nail polish thinner but this is ancient and it smells absolutely terrible and is super thick and goopy. I am ready to let this go. go. Um, I don't see the point in, same with these. Oh I can smell it since I opened it. Ugh. I would need to buy something else to revive these and they're not my favorites anymore anyway. So why would I buy nail polish thinner when I have like 60 nail polishes to use the shade that is no longer my favorite? I don't want to buy Inglot Duraline to revive these that are no longer my favorite. That just seems kind of counterintuitive to me personally. These are three more cheek products and the rest are lip products. So I have my Milani Luminoso. This is the OG, really old one. There is not much pigment to it left. Like the peachy part doesn't show up anymore. It's mostly just the shimmery bits. I'm getting a bunch of swatches everywhere, but it's no longer like a blush. It doesn't perform the way it used to. It also smells oop, like old lady makeup now. This NYC Sun in Bronze, same sort of thing. It doesn't really have any pigment left. It is rock hard and like I can't even swatch it. So clearly this has gone bad and I bought it for like three to five dollars. So that can go. And this Revlon Oh Baby Pink Blush is a similar story again. Once again, it is very old. It's not performing the way it used to. I used to really love this blush. It was a soft baby pink with like a glowy type of finish and now it just doesn't look good on the skin. So those will also be getting decluttered. 
Okay, what's left is lip products. All of these smell terrible or have dried out. So let's quickly go through these. I'm now going to sit up here because my knees are starting to hurt. Um, I don't know if I need to be swatching these, but I have this Kosas Sport Tinted Lip Balm. Um, I didn't love this because it was very, very pigmented and not all that hydrating. It was in the shade Rush and now it smells and tastes awful. This Finding Ferdinand lipstick was gifted to me by a subscriber. It's in the shade Knob Hill Red. My kids are playing video games so they're getting rowdy and this smells terrible as well which is really disappointing. This what is this? Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 8. Oof. Also smells really bad. I loved these lipsticks back in the day. I was so sad to discover my full size Urban Decay lipstick in the shade 1993. Smells absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna hold on to this and try and find a dupe within my collection because I really loved this lipstick. I clearly didn't reach for it nearly enough. I'm wondering if MAC Whirl is similar or is that more mauve -y? If you have a dupe of Urban Decay 1993 in mind, let me know. I have a lot of ColourPop lipsticks too, so I think I could find something within my own collection, but this smells so gross. I was tempted to keep it and try and use it anyway, so I was like, no, Emily, that is literally disgusting. This Tarte Tartist lip paint in Birthday Suit was a birthday gift a long time ago, and it smells like paint thinner. This Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm, I rolled into a project and tried to use. I thought it was supposed to smell like that. It's Now it smells kind of like a rancid coconut product. And not only that, it tasted absolutely disgusting to the point that I kissed my husband with this on and he also was like, ew, what is on your lips? That was foul. So <laughs> that needs to be decluttered. Um, in trying to figure out what my top 10 oldest cream and liquid products for 2024 are, um, this was on the list, but when I pulled it out, I noticed that it smells like soggy, gross wood or something. And I tried sharpening it to see if that would go away and it still smells absolutely disgusting. So this Essence Lip Liner needs to go in the trash. I was really sad about this one, Ofra Miami Fever. I bought this like when she first did this collab, like super old packaging. It is so dry and clumpy now, but this was one of my absolute favorite fall lip colors, this burnt orange. So I might again need to shop my stash and see if I have anything similar or keep this in mind for a lip product purchase in the future. If not, like, Miami Fever again because I loved it so much or a lip product that is a similar shade. And lastly, I did a reel on these uh, when I discovered them. These are ColourPop lippy sticks and they completely dried out to cement. A lot of people tried to tell me it was wax bloom. It is not. They are like dried out and crusty. I've never had that happen before. These are not even that old in my collection. They were on the newer side. I mean, they might be old now, but they went bad a long time ago and this is what they look like. But that's not just wax bloom. Like they don't, I have to work off the crusty bit. Can you see that? So I don't feel comfortable using these. This one also, this is the shade O oh Snap. This one was Topanga. And then lastly, I have I Heart This. Like that's not just wax bloom because it's completely dried out. So I was really sad to discover that in my collection because the ColourPop lippy sticks uh, have been consistently like some of my favorite lipsticks in my collection and I was gifted like a vault set 
or like not one of their vaults, but one of their bigger sets for Christmas one year. And this was included in that. And these three shades went bad super quickly. So that was really disappointing. So unfortunately, all of these items here, I will be decluttering for the sole purpose that they have all expired on me. If I choose to declutter something out of my collection that is still good, I try my best to find it a new home with friends or family. And other than that, I don't really declutter. I feel like my makeup hoard is my responsibility to use up. So you will never find me decluttering perfectly good makeup and then throwing it in the garbage. But all of this stuff has gone bad and this is once again a good reminder to me that I need to be using up things faster or my hand is stained now and also slow down my makeup consumption which I definitely have in the last few years especially through my makeup rehab series which a new um, update for that should be coming soon. I'm trying to catch up on filming as best as I can, but I like to share um, these types of videos with you. So if you see that my super shocks have decreased by three in my makeup inventory, no, I did not use up three super shock shadows. These ones are now all crusty, etc. Same with the three blushes I needed to declutter. Of course, I did not use up three blushes. Um, but I most certainly did purchase new blushes. Of course I did. So these will be going in the garbage. Let me know if you also discover um, crusty expired makeup in your collection from time to time. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!